in faked a baby news <gasps> submitted by Ola JK News. Ola. 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 A couple hey, is accused of faking a pregnancy and the baby's death in an online scam. Oh my, is this, are they? <laughs> GoFundMe? Is this is a this GoFundMe scam? Is this another influencer yeah. shit? It has to be an online, no. It has to be a GoFundMe. GoFundMe scam. Really? Oh. Gotta be. No. But if your baby is already dead, like there's not too much of a cost that you need to like. Baby so funeral? We need a tiny coffin. Maybe. Like, yeah, a little casket. Cute little mm-hmm. coffin with a cute little suit. Yeah. Yeah. Little home in the backyard. We need a plot. I wonder what the goal for the GoFundMe was. I had somebody send me a $2, GoFundMe maybe? for like $60,000. Wait, what? For what? Yeah. It was like my grandma. <laughs> Your grandma? My grandma sent a GoFundMe out and to her family. Fuck you. Sixty thousand. What does she want? I don't know. She wants to help like one of her friends or like a family. Oh, member. I thought it was her GoFundMe. Yeah, it's like she's putting it on, but oh. I was just like, this is too much money. What if she's part of a Nigerian scam? She doesn't even know. Maybe. Maybe. Really, your grandma? Nah, she's good. She's. I knew what it was about, but I was like, I'm not That's giving right. any money. I was like, this goal is too unattainable. I'm not. Geo, it could I'm be an Indian scam. This. It's not always a Nigerian scam. So oh my bad, I didn't know you were so close to yeah. Nigeria. I just wanted to make sure. But they don't have to meet the goal to keep the Oh, money. they don't? I thought oh. they had to meet the goal. Oh, you could pick what kind of campaign you, you use. So, uh, the story here is around Casey and Joffrey. Oh, Joffrey, Joffrey. fuck him. Every Joffrey is fucked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after that character, yeah, man. That's true. <laughs> that like, Dude, that actor, let, did you hear that that guy quit acting? Yeah. After? Yeah. I mean, I mean, that was a tough God. role. Oh, yeah. I bet he you killed, killed it, though. No, but there's it. people on the street that look at him and go, fuck you. Hey, fuck you, yeah. man. What the fuck were you doing, man? <laughs> That's how he knows he should forever act. Yeah. That's how good he was. He just Poor needs kid. to get a new role, rebrand himself. That's all he needs. That's he just has that dick face. He does. He, does. he has that face that, that I want to slap. He has that Draco Malfoy face. If he was my son, I'd get into child abuse. <laughs> But have you seen his audition tapes? Like he transforms into that. Oh yeah. His normal self is just normal, and he like when he in his audition I tape, he it. goes like like this, and he mm-hmm. turns into something else. I can't. Did you know it. he's that kid in Batman Begins who's up on the roof? Really? Really? Yeah. Who's like Batman's gonna save us? It's gonna be chill. Wow. That's him. That's fucking dope. I, I didn't I hate know. that guy. See? I don't know. But anyway, so this couple older, here, meaner. they faked having a baby. Uh, they faked a whole pregnancy. And it was all to scam their family and friends out of money. Oh, what a piece of Yeah, at least they weren't influencers and there wasn't people they didn't know. At least they went after family and friends. I hope that there was people that didn't know. (laughs) I I don't think they're shitty. I think they're family shitty. Damn. For not giving them money? For exposing them. They got money from the family. I want to hear it. Because you guys don't really understand the motive here. What is it? Okay, <laughs> think about it. Okay, think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Think about why. It sounds like you're making it up. No, 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 no. I'm, no. I'm prepping you for the big reveal. Think about it. Think about it. I'm prepping you for the big reveal. Okay. okay. So the big no, reveal no. is I'm gonna flip your. I'm gonna flip you. I'm gonna flip the script on okay. this shit on yeah. your minds. Okay. Yeah. It All right? sounds you like you're pulling you're something out of your asshole right now. He's buying no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So, his family must be really shitty in order for them to do this without any guiltiness. But it's both of their families. Damn. Both, yeah, they both come from really shitty families. Because if I were to do something like that, I'd be like, fuck them, they deserve it. They fucking beat me growing up, they did this and they did that. But you're great grandma. But there's also people that kill their parents and their you parents were great, pretty decent. You think great grandmas are fucking immune to fucked up shit? Nope. So the grandpa gave groceries, the great grandma gave $265. Friends game with. Oh, that sounds really. But scary. they also gave them a beating when they were seven years old. You know what I mean? Like, what about that? Ooh, what if their parents gave them a lot of pressure to have a baby, and they're always like, "When are you gonna have grandkids? Well, when are you gonna have?" She's twenty three. You know? He's twenty seven. They could be from West Virginia, though. You know. Pennsylvania. What I mean? Oh. So they're like, they're I see Pennsylvania. They're like grandparents already. I was born in Pennsylvania. My aunt has twelve kids. Holy what? shit! Baby are you a part of the Amish crew? No, but oh. no. No. <laughs> but very close. But clo- next okay. door. Next door. Wow. Oh shit. I thought everybody from Pennsylvania. Maybe was they a just part didn't have Amish a TV, group. and you guys never gave that to them, and it would have stopped. And they wouldn't <laughs> have had twelve. No, they all love to have so many, like a big family and oh. sex. Yeah. Where are the Where's the Duggar no family from? Um, are I feel like they're from over there. Who's that? Duggar? Like the the couple that has more than twenty kids. Yeah. Who? They have their they own were on TLC? TLC show. Talking about Octomom? I don't oh, know about this. And then they had drama where the the son the was son. doing some weird stuff. 
Yeah, we talked to about it on sisters. news. Where he had like a oh, he was sexting God. some escort chick or camera. Oh yeah, he was on the Ashley Madison site. That's what yeah. it was. Oh, I remember. And they're really Christian. Because they're super religious. Yeah. Oh. That's what happened. The more religious, I think the more ball gags. The funnier. <laughs> yep. The funnier it is when you get caught. Yep. Anyway, so what they did is uh, like a friend of theirs Maybe and like their picture family. ball gags. <laughs> yeah. For every cross, I see the ratio now. Like for every cross they have in their house, there's a ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's some photos of their baby shower. Wow, yeah, dude, yeah, no, fuck the it. Baby no, shower? baby shower. Like she was still pregnant. Um, oh. Does she look pregnant? Um, I don't know. Not really. You know and funny? then they even bought a fake baby doll. So That's a to dog? take photos oh. of their newborn and said that he died like a few hours later after the kid was born. This is their story. So and so they were trying to get money. Dog. I'm like, you're not gonna do it. <laughs> They're oh. gonna try to get money too for the funeral for this baby. And so they got about 500 something dollars. And oh, here's a GoFundMe. Oh well. You're gonna fuck your family over for just 500 bucks. Yeah, right. A picture yeah. of a doll. 550 bucks. How much was the doll? That the doll was it? probably like a hundred and something I know. bucks. So they only yeah. netted like what, four, three hundred? Not just that, but they also had this, um, this like cream, uh, an urn of like the cremated baby. They went all out. <laughs> I have a question. Can I ask? Okay, now you can ask. Okay, so my question is. Did the family go to their party? Because that'll be so funny if they didn't invite anybody and they did this all all over video and then they still asked for money and they're like, you didn't even fucking invite me, but I'm still gonna give you groceries and stuff. No, they were yeah, there. But they were, okay. They were yeah. at the baby shower. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I wonder if anyone knew like that was a fake belly because they'll poke at it. They're like, can I feel? Because everyone wants to feel. Yeah. People or don't usually get fat? poke at it. They just rub it. But don't they come out of nowhere and rub don't it? Don't they have a fucking stethoscope and they Even go, if that, oh, like you're not feeling how hard it really is with the rub. Mm. They don't you really have to like. Push they don't do the watermelon thing. Pop, pop, pop. Try to shake it. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Fucking Ren it. does. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, fucking Ren does. She like slapped my belly. Oh. I slapped hers back. Didn't it feel good though? <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, they even did an uh, obituary posting wow, in the that's newspaper. Sick. Okay, this is my favorite shit. How did they get caught? Oh, because the friend. Oh, what was it? I don't know. It just it felt. Oh, because she disappeared. She said that she had to go in on like in bed rest, and it before was just, she had the baby. Before she had the baby, she went on bed rest and just completely disappeared from everyone. Mm -hmm. And then right after, this friend was like, "This is." Fake. And so she ended up going to the the authorities, and they did an investigation, and they didn't find any records of her be having a baby or the cremated, like the funeral home and stuff. There was no records of that. And when they finally went into the, her home and they did like a search, they found a dead baby. They found that doll, and they found like Ooh. this urn thing. What kind of friend is that? True. I right. would do that. I would do that to rat. my friend. That's a rat. fucking rat. I would not do that to my friend. Well, if, if I was lying to you, telling you that I had a baby and then the I baby would died, to you. you would be pissed. I would be pissed, but I would talk to you and I'd be yeah, like, because you'd be like, you doing? No, no, no. Because Jill's, Jill's gonna talk no, to you and be like, yo, true. yo, 50 50, or else I'm gonna fucking burn you <laughs> out. Uh, yeah. Dude, I'm so we fucking. We both get 250 dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so petty. I wouldn't let this go, and I'd be like, this was a friendship test, bitch. You failed. Oh, that's so good. I'd be like, elaborate ass friendship test. You're out. One time there's this girl that I, I used to work at Buffalo Wild Wings and there was this girl and she would say that she was- Is this was, real or is this like the stripper story? No, this is for for real. Okay. She said it was fake. I don't know how she <laughs> felt duped. Just gotta clarify. That's a different video. It's for all um, the people out there listening. She, I worked at B-dubs and- B-dubs. And um, she would tell everyone, this was like near Baltimore area and Johns Hopkins is right there and she would tell everybody that she was um, like in school to be a doctor and she was doing her residency at Johns Hopkins and she would like tell all these elaborate stories about like what she saw she's like oh yeah she told me this thing I never forgot she's like yeah it's busier when it's raining because there's more car accidents in the ER and I was like wow I never thought about that you know what I mean now everyone just believed her and then like things started to not add up and my two friends from B-dubs, they camped out at her, in front of her That's house. That's fucking petty, I love it. They had to no figure way. it out. They followed her to see like what she did throughout the day. Wow. She never went to Johns Hopkins. She was telling everybody, like someone was like, hey, can you pick up my shift? And she was like, no, I can't, I gotta work at the hospital. Oh, she was sad. lying to wow. all of us. So where did she go? 
She's to a, a spaghetti she's factory? A, she's a B-dubs regular, bro. Dude, we knew someone um, that said that he worked for the government, and it was this very secret branch of the government, and like he had left that already, um, and the way that he communicated to all the other uh, undercover whatever. Like secret agents. Secret agents was by folding an American flag a certain way and leaving it the back of his car, because he's like, you know, sometimes they just want to call me up on missions and stuff, but when they see that, they know um, that, like, I, I don't do it anymore. And then, so he was saying, like, he went on several what? missions. This guy was fucking weird. But we believed him because he was, like, pretty knowledgeable in a lot of different things. And, like, when you meet someone and, and you've developed some <laughs> sort of rapport, you're not questioning their validity, right? Because, right. like, you're just like, okay, cool, like, I get you. Um, and then we went to a shooting range, and we're like, oh, man, we can't wait to see this guy like, shoot. Cause, action, like, he's, yeah. Yeah, like he's a secret agent. And we see him and he fucking sprint like He's he worse than me. And the like, funny thing is we have we have a guy that was a he's a he's an army guy, right? Oh, I thought I thought it was good. No, no, you're you're good for a regular person. Yeah. But, but for someone that doesn't shoot regularly. The funny thing is I called him out on that because cause our friend from the army was there. He was shooting, he's fucking amazing. And I'm like, hey, isn't it funny? Both of you guys are from the military and he's fucking really good and you shoot like shit. <laughs> He goes, yeah, I, I'm a little bit rusty today. I'm a little bit rusty. We're, we didn't even think anything of it because we're just like, we trust people. And then uh, he ended up saying, uh, he ended up telling his girlfriend at the time. So he was basically cheating on her. Mm -hmm. And then he told her that he wouldn't answer her phone calls or text messages because that particular day, um, he saw that they, they they called for his services again and they left, <laughs> what is it? The, a chess piece. The, you know the night, the horse thing? No way. On yeah. his car? No. no. It's to call him, yeah. Yeah, so then he, the at that point, he couldn't answer his phone. He had to just kind of go MIA for yeah. a little bit. He had to go <laughs> fuck a fat chick from Craigslist. <laughs> that was his mission. <laughs> his mission? <laughs> He's like, oh, I gotta wait, get wait, my wait. body it's to the job of, again. Damn. He's a part of the mission. I, I know what it looks like. He reminds me of that 50 first date scene where he jumps on the back of a jet ski and he's, his balls are all <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, just keep going, just keep going. But this girl used to lie about crazy stuff too. And like she her lives kept going and she would lie about stuff that had nothing to do with her fake life. I love compulsive She's just a bad liars. person, right? Yeah. Just, I thought you were gonna say that because she says she's a doctor this whole time, I thought you were gonna say, and one day somebody starts choking and we're like, is there a doctor here? And she's like <laughs> <laughs>